I'm gonna do you another favor here. Your teacher definitely went over World War II. And this is not the format for me to introduce you to Nazis or Normandy or nukes. So today let's review specifically what the college board says you have to know about World War II. If you're in my class, we kind of just went over this stuff. So it's not really a review at this point. It should be fresh on your brain. Plus, I get it. History can be boring for people like you who are not obsessed with history like I am. But say what you will about World War II. World War II is not boring. So if your teacher is like me and we went overboard on World War II, let's bring back our old friend, the College Board script. Hey, buddy. First off, World War II was a total war. Governments used a variety of strategies, including political propaganda, art, media, and intensified forms of nationalism to mobilize populations, both in the home countries and the colonies, or former colonies, for the purpose of waging war. Look familiar? It's basically the same as World War I. No, it's literally the same words in the same order. So just know all that poster propaganda stuff we looked at for World War I, both in the countries and their colonies, that's happening again here in World War II. All right, next. Governments used ideologies, including fascism and communism, to mobilize all of their states' resources for war, and in the case of totalitarian states, to repress basic freedoms and dominate any aspects of daily life during the course of the conflicts and beyond. Okay, this is new. So you gotta think, everything at this point that we got from the rise of communism in the Soviet Union and the rise of fascism in places like Spain and Italy and Germany. All that stuff happened after World War I. And say what you will about Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union, those governments had total control. They were totalitarian. That's a fun word, totalitarian. Total war in a totalitarian state meant that they had the totalist control that anyone could have. Totally. And they used that to mobilize their people to fight. Don't believe me? The three largest battles ever fought by humans were a result of the totalitarian Nazis invading the totalitarian Soviet Union. All right, last bit. New military technology and new tactics, including the atomic bomb, firebombing, and the waging of total war led to increased levels of wartime casualties. Right? This is literally the same as World War I. Looks like the College Board also has mastery of copy and paste. But there's some new stuff in there. So let's review the two new techs or tactics that took place in World War II. First, firebombing. This one gets overlooked a lot. Fat man and little boy get all the publicity. But don't overlook this. And these aren't just incendiary bombs that start fires. They're dropped from thousands of feet in the sky from bombers and they create a literal firestorm that's so strong it sustains its own wind system. These fire bombings killed way more people than the atomic bombs in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. These were so effective at killing that after the war, both Germany and Japan wanted fire bombing to be counted as a war crime. Second new tactic in World War II, the atomic bombs. These are new to World War II. Like brand new. Like July 1945 new. Like from the first test nuke ever set off the Trinity test in New Mexico, it was less than a month before Japan surrendered. It's pretty quick for a war they started eight years prior. So for the new weapons, focus on the firebombing campaigns of the Allies as well as the two atomic bombs dropped on Japan. Think of firebombing as doing massive damage to the urban centers all over Germany and Japan. And the two atomic bombs as serving as the final nail in the coffin for World War II. So don't get too in the weeds here for World War II. What we reviewed today is what's on the AP World Exam. So we got one more section on Unit 7. Behind the scenes of these world wars and the rise of these totalitarian regimes, there are some historic mass atrocities taking place. See you tomorrow. Thank you.